my love it's 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 been a minute it's been a minute i have my coffee here this is my second cup like don't come for me but i thought that we do a video quite early in the morning it's 8 38 and we have a busy day today but i was like i want to sit with you i want to talk to you and i really wanted to showcase what taking a break what that really looks like because i feel like influencers youtube healers your favorite people and, and, and your favorite people overall right your favorite people always talk about especially on social media oh i took a break and whatever whatever and we're like imagining i don't know like when people say they take a break especially my favorite influencers um or spiritual healers or just people that i like to watch as far as content i always think about like them like having a a a, a carefree day i was thinking about how that perception is so freaking wrong because I know I told you guys a few times that like I take breaks and I definitely do it for my mental health and to ground and we need it, especially as to intuitive beings, right? Um, but I figured you guys don't really know what happens when I say like I take a break. So that's why I was like, let me show you. But before we get into anything, like once again, I just want to say thank you. I absolutely love you. Um, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, uh, grab your notebook, grab everything, your headphones, because we're about to get into some really needed but really important conversation. So let's get into it. coffee with caramel it's been like hitting it's been so freaking good this is my second cup of coffee and i did it because i am going to be recording and i was going to be talking to you guys um but it's so freaking good it's so good we are in a different space so this is my new office i do have to like decorate um the background and stuff but we're here and I'm so grateful and I'm so honored, but this is why it's been taking me so long. I'm just trying to figure out my flow again because I feel like when you think of moving, it's super exciting. But once you have a flow and a routine, like I'm that kind of person where once I have my routine and I start to deviate from that, it goes downhill from there. Like I need to be organized because if not, I'm never going to jump back into my routine. You know what I mean? Like it takes me a lot longer to like get into the flow of things. Um, and it's really put me into like this spiral, right? Um, and I know that like talking, we're just going to jump into what it looks like uh, when I say, and I'll talk for myself in particular, when I say I'm taking a break as an intuitive, as a medium, as a person who has a spiritual shop and what that looks like. Okay. Um, clearly my altar needed some help. Right? My altar spaces needed some help. They were definitely, I don't want to say abandoned, but they were definitely sitting there for a minute. And I remember feeling so guilty for the first two weeks that my altar space was looking the way that it was. Even my office, even though I, like, I moved in, it still wasn't flowing the way I would hope it would flow. Because things, as much as I moved in, it was kind of like rushed. It wasn't thoughtfully placed. Like Things were kind of just organized but messy if you know what i mean and it didn't even feel comfortable to be in this space and i was talking to my wife about that how it really just did not feel comfortable to be in this space and it wasn't that i didn't like my office it wasn't that my office was bad in any way it's just it's it's a new space it's a new it's a new place i realized like how much change would really i guess affect me right and then uh, let's get into TikTok, right? Because we always talk about like social media and TikTok is how a lot of you found me and I'm so appreciative of every single one of you. Um, but TikTok has definitely been playing with my mental, right? Because I had a lot of mutuals of mine like unfollow me recently. Um, and it kind of like, I don't know, like these are people that like, I didn't even watch their page either. You know, like I wasn't like, they never popped up on my For You page and when they did, I didn't really... I don't want to say I didn't care for the content, but I didn't relate to the content. So it's like I didn't want to unfollow because I wanted to support them in that way. Um, but then to see them unfollow me, I don't know. I don't know. It put me like in the spiral like of 
I guess wanting to people please or wanting to feel important in some kind of way and it really put me in that spiral and I was like girl what are you doing and I remembered I did a live a while ago and I was like if I ever get out of touch like you tell me to touch some grass so I told myself like girl touch some grass like it's okay you you're not you're not supposed to resonate with everybody um you're not supposed to be that person for everybody like we are here on a divine path and a divine journey to showcase what it looks like authentically whether people resonate with what your personal path looks like or not and that's what made it even more real for me which is why we're here you know i usually don't show like my altar space and what that looks like but i like definitely wanted to show you that it does get icky it does get nasty right and the reflection that I always have when taking a, a step back, right, and not touching my altar spaces, not really tapping in spiritually, um, I love at the end of the day, once I'm like ready, right, once I've like done my days of doing nothing, done my days of like trying to get my life together but completely and totally failed, done my time of like trying to read but not in that space, like I feel like when I take these breaks and let me know in the comments if you resonate when like you know you're supposed to be taking a break right and you took the time off like you did the deed you did what you needed to do you took your time off you have your book in front of you you have your journal you have like your altars you got to do everything you have your obligations and it's just you just can't right it, it's not that you don't want to you just you just don't feel it and I'm that kind of person where if my altar space is not looking um not my altar space if my altar space needs maintenance or my spiritual team needs some love i'm not gonna do it just out of obligation and that's just me like i'm gonna do it because i love them i'm gonna do it because i want to see their candle on i'm gonna do it because i want to talk to them i want i want the connection i'm not going to all i'm not gonna maintain my altar just to say i did it like that's never been me not even with my social media not with my youtube like it's never been me just to post a post you know what I mean? Like everything I post is intentional. Everything I do is intentional, even behind the camera, behind closed doors. Um, and that does not stop with my spiritual team. So the way you're seeing my altar, it shows, right? Because once you come back, right? Once I came back and I was like, all right, it's time to love on you guys again because I loved on myself again, the clear difference. And I also have to say like when my altar gets that crazy, you know, as far as like just leaving it still, leaving the waters as is, like I promise you, I, I did not like mess with that altar water at all. That's probably like two or three weeks of no maintenance. Um, and just it just collecting all of that energy. I realized that like, that's a lot of energy, right? Looking at that glass, like that's a lot of energy um, that I'm taking in. Of course, I'm going to need a break. Of course, this is why my mind looks the way it does. Like, I don't know if you guys have that moment of realization when you decide to jump back and cater to your spaces again. It doesn't even need to be your altar. It could be like my office, for example. I looked around and I was like, no wonder I'm feeling so like sad and so down. No wonder I don't feel comfortable here. No wonder I don't want to work here because... My space is like cluttered and chaotic and that's what it feels like internally. So we need to build that love again. We need to build that safe space again. So I love doing my altar spaces once getting out of that space that I was in. But when I was in it, let me tell you, it was rough, right? Um, like I said, I lost uh, pretty much like a thousand followers or something on TikTok, which is fine with me because following will always go up and down. But as a content creator who puts so much thought, who is purposely and intentionally posting things um, out of love and being vulnerable constantly, sometimes it's like, am, is my vulnerability like not enough? Am I not enough? Um, am I being too honest, too real? Am I not being trendy enough? Am I not being aesthetic enough? And I'm like even carrying this over beyond social media, right? Even with the people that are in our lives, when they fall out of our lives, even though we did our best to maintain that relationship, we did our best to kind of be there, even when we didn't even have it in us for ourselves and they choose to walk away or we have to cut those ties, it's a little disrupting you know it's it's disrupting for the mental because it makes you question so much and that's why it's so important to pull away to pull back and say you know what this is deeper than what it is and it was you know being vulnerable with you guys like it was so much deeper than just losing followers it was me feeling not enough not just in 
on the internet i mean like not enough with the people in my lives because i definitely had to cut off a few energies i definitely had to um realize that certain things have served their purpose you know what i mean getting comfortable with being uncomfortable um and that looked like me being in bed all day some days that looked like me even eating maybe too much right um that looked like me eating not enough that looked like me not drinking enough water um you know my space is getting super crazy and messy like i my break i think was this was the most chaotic break i think i've taken but i've learned a lot from it um one when i saw my altar space like we were talking about earlier i realized what neglecting myself really looks like and i hope that you hear my words what neglecting myself really does by putting it off putting it off putting it off putting off i have to take almost two weeks time like a week and a half two weeks time to just recalibrate because I was putting it off for so long and how just taking one day can definitely keep me on track versus having to take weeks at a time to not only calibrate but then to reorganize my space to do this to do that how important it is to be disciplined sometimes even though we don't want to right when it comes down to even putting the little things back because i'm not gonna lie it does feel good to come into my office early in the morning because right now it is currently 8:49 and see how organized my space is it feels good it feels refreshing it feels clean i don't know you know what i mean like it just feels clean um i'm going to my notes because i like i definitely don't want to deviate from what i wanted to talk about um but with that being said i know that when it comes down to taking a break especially spiritually a lot of us feel guilty as far as our spiritual team right we feel like we're neglecting our team and like i said you don't want to do their their altar spaces and give them offerings just to say hey i did it we definitely want to do it out of love but what if we don't have that love to give at that moment what if we don't feel that right um i just want you to know that your team understands right like your team sees you your team sees you sees you more than probably anybody else on this planet right your team sees you they see your struggle. They see what you're going through. They see you. Of course, it would be great if you involve them and you talk to them. And it's different, right? It's like when you see your friend going through it. It's different when you're witnessing it and you're, you're watching and observing them versus them coming up to you and saying, hey, can you talk? You get that deeper connection. You, get, you build that trust and that relationship. And you also get a deeper insight on what is going on through and through. It's very similar when it comes down to our spiritual team. They see us. They see what's going on. But it's different when you come to them. And you're just like, you know what? This is what's been going on. And I really had um, that moment where I was like, I'm so sorry. Da, 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 da. Like my altars and I'm sorry for the, the offerings and not being this and not being that. Even the most hottest quote unquote energies that i venerate were very loving and they were like girl why are you apologizing we're just glad that you are here i'm just gonna i feel like crying just talking about that but like we're just glad that you are here we're just glad that you are getting out of it we're glad that you are okay we're glad that mentally you know you're stronger than this right it's not about whether my water is clean or not i mean of course i would like my glass of water to be clean i would like my offerings but that doesn't trump you right Ooh, that does not trump you and it goes the same with our friendships like you should never feel like everything else trumps you because it doesn't if you're not whole within yourself how are you going to cater to anything right how are you going to give to anything how are you going to be there present if you're not even feeling okay if you're not feeling yourself and that's kind of what i was going through where i was just not feeling myself um i was feeling very detached very disconnected i was feeling like my anxieties were like at a hundred i started feeling like my heart space and then of course the mind is like oh spiritual warfare who's throwing things evil eye da, 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 jealousy and envy da, da, da. and it's just like that would be the easy way out right ego wants to be like yeah it's somebody else it's somebody else it's somebody else instead of just being like even if somebody was doing whatever whatever that does not trump me taking care of me that does not trump my power and my protection okay i am divinely protected but i am not protected from my lessons 
I still need my lessons in order to keep going, in order to keep learning, in order to become more wise, right? We need the experience. So if that experience or this lesson was triggered by somebody else doing whatever, whatever to me behind closed doors, more power to you because I am becoming stronger in the process and so are you. You know, like switching up the narrative and just not catering to, oh, I, I'm being hexed, I'm being this, I'm being that, da, 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 and just being sad about it and then cleansing and then like being petty. It's like, we're beyond that at this point. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like for me, it's okay to go through it. It's okay to pull back. It's okay to feel like the world is not on your side sometimes, but it's also okay to pick yourself back up and to do what you got to do to continue pushing, right? Um, but your team understands. Your spiritual team definitely understands and you should not be picking yourself up for them. You should not be picking yourself up for them. Meaning, there is no need to say, oh, I need to get out of it for my team. I mean, if that's your motivation, then more power to you. But it should be, I want to pick myself up for me. And once I'm ready, I'm going to give that love back to you guys for just being here. And that's kind of how I look at it. Like, once I come back and I cater to my altar spaces and to my spiritual team, and even the people in my physical life, I'm just like, thank you. Like, here's your, your thank you, whether that's food, whether that's love, attention, my mood, like, here. Like, this is me and all of me now that I'm feeling better. And that's all that matters, is really standing in your power and being there for yourself, not for anybody else, you know? I know that sometimes we can stay in that emotion for a little bit too long, right? Um, there's been countless times where I'm like, I see the altar, I see my spaces, I see the laundry, I see the house, I see this, that, and the third. And it's just like, I don't wanna. As, a, <laughs> as we get confirmation, I don't know if you guys heard that. But it's just like, I don't wanna. Sometimes we need to also have the discipline. It's good to take a rest, right? But then we also need to have the discipline to say, you know what, I've been in this too long. I don't deserve that. Right? Forget about your team, forget about the people around you. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to wake up feeling like this any longer. So also recognizing the fact that you deserve better for you, right? I feel like sometimes when I stay in the emotion too long, like it hurts, 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 and it starts slowly getting comfortable and it's so strange. You let me know if like that happens to you, but sometimes it like hurts, 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 and you kind of like get used to the pain. And then you're just kind of comfortable feeling that same way, but like nothing has changed, you know? And like we get stuck in this space of just being. And it's great to just be like, yeah, this is how I feel and honoring that. But it gets a little dangerous sometimes when you don't start taking action. So definitely, I would say if you're in that same space as me, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But once you're ready and you feel it, because it's literally moments, it's moments of clarity. It's like, I want to even say like a minute. <laughs> it's a minute of epiphanies and like this, this unseen clarity where it's like, oh my goodness, I need to get myself together. And then as soon as it came, it's as quick as it leaves. And you're just like, oh, but I could do that tomorrow. Like as soon as you get that moment of clarity, which is what I had, run with it get up and do something and like for me i am a list person i will write lists i will plan i will journal i will do something even if it's just two words um i will do something just to make sure that every time i gotta pass those notes my journal whatever i'm reminded of that moment of clarity and how that moment of clarity is just something that was meant to push me and not to put me further into judging myself right but it's been quite interesting this break and yeah it's been definitely i think the lowest i've been in a while um and i just think it's a lot it's just everything right just everything the transition just me learning um just me learning period you know what i mean um but sometimes we do need to force ourselves to get out of this and hence why i was like you know what i'm gonna clean i'm gonna do what i gotta do but we're here right we're here and i just want to say if you are someone that is going through this i love you especially as a sensitive and as an intuitive being you're not alone 
I go through it every once in a while and taking breaks is not as pretty as I think we we imagine um like us relaxing at a beach like no it's literally us crying and not understanding why it's us not feeling the motivation to take care of our obligations even though we know we should um it's 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 a it's rough you know what i mean it's rough but i wanted to be transparent with you and i wanted to be vulnerable and show you that it's okay we all go through it and it doesn't take away from who we are it doesn't take away from our personal journey and it doesn't take away from how much we've done and how much we've progressed and how much we did not become a product of our environment so i hope that you enjoyed this little chit chat uh alter maintenance kind of talk but also what a break actually looks like um when we say we're taking a break um let me know in the comments below what you're looking for uh what you want to see from me i definitely think um I'm gonna be posting more often. I say that every freaking video, don't I? I do my best, I do my best. I'm gonna to try to see if I post more frequently. And also, I've been thinking also that I wanted to do like little videos with my wife and do like little podcast chit chats with my wife as well on my page. Let me know if you guys would like be interested in that and just seeing like what it's like being being an intuitive couple, because I'm not the only one with intuition, like my, my spouse, my wife is definitely intuitive herself and spiritual herself. So it's really interesting, um, the dynamic between the both of us and how that works. And I promise you, it's not this, oh my God, love you type of relationship, I hurt for you. No, it's like, you get under my freaking skin, you irk me. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about like, you know what it looks like to be in a relationship as a spiritualist and also being spiritual not just being just not just me but my wife and what that may look like as a couple um and i'm sure we're gonna get into like really interesting conversations but i thought of bringing my wife on my channel um and seeing how you guys feel about her because she is freaking amazing she has her own thing going on by the way um but yeah i just thought it would be interesting to kind of get even more vulnerable with you guys and just show you like my relationship a little bit like a little deep dive into that um but yeah i love you thank you for being here i was supposed to be drinking my coffee this whole time but you know we got deep into conversation today and i definitely wanted to make sure that i like got the message out and i feel like i did without talking your ear off too much too too much but just know you're not alone. Just know that um, I'm here for you. You guys should be for each other in the comments too. I'm so glad you stumbled across my YouTube page. I love you. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I hope that you have an amazing day. And if there's anything that you want to see from me, definitely comment below. I do want to make a video on spiritual protection because I do know that that's something that you guys ask quite frequently even though i feel like i've made content on it i haven't made a youtube video on it so i do believe that that is next but i love you and i'll see you in the next video